Hello, this video is on functions. Specifically, it's the first of two videos on quadratic functions. The formula for the axis of symmetry of the graph of a quadratic function is given on page 5 of your formula booklet, as shown here. A quadratic function has the general form f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b and c are constants called coefficients. The graph of a quadratic function is called a parabola. The key features of a parabola are its y-intercept, where the graph crosses the y-axis, its x-intercepts, where the graph crosses the x-axis, its vertex, which will either be a minimum or a maximum point, and its axis of symmetry, and the graph is symmetrical on either side of this line. The x-intercepts are also called the roots or the zeros. The function has a y-intercept at the point 0, comma, c where c is the value of the constant coefficient. The function has x-intercepts that are the roots of the equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. The function will have a minimum point if the value of a is positive, i.e. if a is greater than zero, and a is called the coefficient of x squared. The function will have a maximum point if the value of a is negative, i.e. if a is less than zero. The function has a vertical axis of symmetry at x equals negative b over 2a. And as already stated, this equation is given in your formula booklet. The axis of symmetry will also pass through the vertex and the coordinates of the vertex are negative b over 2a, comma, f of negative b over 2a. In the example shown, the function given has a y-intercept at 0, comma, 3. This is because f of 0 is equal to 3, and also because the value of c is equal to 3. The function has x-intercepts that are roots or solutions of the equation x squared minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. To find these roots on your calculator, from the main menu, select Equation. Then press F2 for polynomial and F1 for degree 2 then we can enter the coefficients of the equation. So entering 1 for the coefficient of x squared, negative 4 for the coefficient of x, and 3 for the constant coefficient. And then pressing F1 to solve the equation. We see the roots of the equation are x equals 1 or x equals 3. So the function has x-intercepts of 1 and 3. The function will have a minimum point. This is because the value of a, the coefficient of x squared, is positive. It's equal to 1, which is greater than 0. Using the formula for the equation of the axis of symmetry, substituting in the value of b and a, we see that the function has a vertical axis of symmetry at x equals 2, as shown on the diagram. Remembering that the axis of symmetry also passes through the vertex, the coordinates of the vertex will be 2, comma, f of 2. And since f of 2 is equal to negative 1, 
the vertex will have coordinates 2, negative 1.